Hello and welcome to a new vlog from Cairo and in your company is Rasha Shokra. In today's vlog we are delving into the 14th century to visit one of the wonders of the Islamic architecture in Cairo. It is the mosque and madrasa of Sultan Hassan. Besides the fact that it was built as a mosque for praying, it's also a madrasa or school because it was built to host the four schools of thought of Islam religion for studying Al-Malikiya, Al-Hanbaliya, Al-Hanifiya and al, al, al shafaiya As we attempt to enter the madrasa and the mosque of Sultan Hassan, we are immediately stunned by the grand entrance, high walls and the amazing details that gives it lots of richness and greatness. This black stone was meant to be a mirror, so that visitors to the place would look at their best for praying or studying. At the entrance, you will feel so overwhelmed by the greatness of the place and the serenity these magical walls give to the place. You will definitely enter a beautiful sphere where light and darkness will frequently meet, but deep down you will feel you are heading into the light of culture learning and history. And because the place was not only built to be a mosque but also a school, Sultan Hassan made sure that there were so many facilities inside to serve the students. A hospital was built inside to serve the students as well as many classrooms for the lectures of the different schools. As you enter the madrasa or the school, you are immediately hit by the light of the courtyard or the atrium of the mosque that is centered by beautiful pillared unique fountain. Fountains symbolize abundance, spirituality and the calmness of the souls, a continuous source of purging. Unlike the Ottoman style of mosques that are covered by so many domes, this beautiful mosque is characterized by its openness to the skies. This mosque will always remind you that it is a magnificent meeting point between heaven and earth. The courtyard of the mosque has four arches at the four main directions, east, west, north and south. And under each arch used to sit each teacher of a school of thought of Islam religion. And here is the Qibla, or the direction of Kaaba in Mecca, or the east side of the mosque, where prayers are made. The materials used in building the prayers area are 100% natural materials, either made of marble, precious stones, wood or glass. They are multi-layered to bring this beautiful masterpiece to our eyes. Behind the prayers area, there is a shrine hall where Sultan Hassan himself was supposed to be buried. But unfortunately, due to the bloody events of the Mamluks era, Sultan Hassan got killed and nobody was able to confirm where he was killed. Instead, his two sons are now buried inside this beautiful shrine.
This is a place designed where the light is meant to always hit you at some point. The divine grace of this place will humble your soul for sure. This is a grand door to one of the classrooms, a door to enlighten your soul and heart. Time to leave and time to enter the gateway again to the real world. A beautiful time machine journey in the Mamluks era of Egypt, seven centuries ago. There is nothing more beautiful than hearing, smelling, touching history, where also so many heart prayers were raised to the skies. And that's it for my vlog from Sultan Hassan Madrasa and School. Hope you've enjoyed it and until next time.